After Ripple's lawyers asked them to, the SEC cut the amount of money they wanted to find Ripple by a lot, from $2 billion to $102.6 million. This happened at a very important time. There is a lot of talk about Hirsch's departure. Some people think he might change careers and work in the crypto space, but Hirsch has said that he has no plans to work with crypto projects like Pump.Fun. The timing of his departure, which matches the SEC's new penalty request, points to a possible change in policy within the company. The lawyers for Ripple suggested a maximum fine of $10 million, saying that the first claim was too harsh. This change is due to how complicated the case is and the legal points Ripple has made, which could mean that the SEC will change its mind. Ripple is also dealing with a different legal problem in California. Its CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, is being accused of making false comments in public in the past. Garlinghouse had said in public that he believed in XRP but wasn't sure about other digital currencies. The judge threw out several claims that the defendants broke federal securities laws, but one state law claim based on a 2017 comment is still alive. The lawyers for Garlinghouse and Ripple are getting ready to fight this last claim. In this case, the client did not buy XRP directly from Ripple, so it is not possible to say for sure that Garlinghouse's comments affected their choice. This trial could set a standard for how public support by crypto executives should be looked at by the law. Even with these problems, Garlinghouse sees the judge's decisions as big wins. They make him even more confident in XRP and its ability to use blockchain technology to solve problems in the real world. Ripple is in court battles with the SEC and an individual in California. The results of these battles will have big effects on the crypto industry as regulators and market players closely watch what happens. Um, the decisions could affect how crypto is regulated and how it is enforced in the future. In the world of digital assets, which is changing very quickly, these cases show how difficult it is to find the right mix between regulatory oversight and encouraging new ideas. But experts see this as a sign that prices will go up. In fact, they have never been so sure that XRP Ripple will grow in the future. Find out the whole truth about what's going on behind the scenes. It will shock you. You'll be amazed. Therefore, some market experts think XRP could go up by a large amount. Crypto market analyst Tyler Eric says that the way the price of XRP has changed in the past shows a trend that could mean that the price is about to go up. Eric's research is based on the Elliott Wave Theory, a way of looking at technical analysis that says price changes happen in specific wave patterns. Using this theory on a weekly timeline chart of XRP's past prices, Eric finds a five-wave Elliott Wave structure that keeps showing up. What does it mean, though? For example, when the fifth wave came to a head in early 2017, prices went up and peaked around 40 cents in May 2017. This big rise, which went over 7,784%, was followed by a short time of stability before another big rise to over $3. After going down from its high point, XRP seems to be making another Elliott Wave structure with five waves. Eric thinks this building is almost finished. Over the past six years, the first four waves have happened. According to Elliott's wave theory, the fifth wave could cause a big price rise again, which could push XRP to $36. Eric isn't the only one who thinks XRP will go up in value. The Times tabloid wrote last year that Crypto Insight UK, another analyst, thought the price of XRP would go up by $34. And now for the crazy part, Chad Stingraber, a well-known person in the XRP community, a lead game designer, recently made the bold claim that XRP could reach $250 by 2025. This caused a lot of discussion. Even though there isn't any solid evidence for the prediction, his words have caused people to speculate. Stingraber said that XRP would most likely go up to $20 or $25 at first, and that's when most buyers would sell. Another fan thought that many might sell for even less because they were frustrated. The game creator agreed and said that not many people would hold on for big gains, even though a lot of investors wanted to make a lot of money with XRP. They also thought that there might be a market boom in late July or early August, followed by a market crash and a peace deal in late 2024 or early 2025, which could make markets rich again. Steingraber replied by stressing how important stablecoin rules are. He thinks that these rules could help XRP go up maybe by the end of the year or the beginning of next year. CryptoGeek made an interesting prediction in the XRP community when he wrote, XRP will be $72,591 guaranteed. Even though such a prediction sounds interesting, it should be taken with a grain of salt. In any case, it's fun to see such crazy predictions because it shows that people are hopeful about the cryptocurrency we love. It would be a shame not to look into how XRP Ripple's technology has changed the world, even though the legal fights and price predictions are interesting. In the future, our favorite coin could change the way people buy things around the world, making them faster, cheaper, and more efficient than ever. This is more than just hope. It shows how blockchain technology has the ability to change things. Uh, you won't want to miss this, trust me. You'll lose your mind. In a recent interview with CNBC, Garlinghouse talked about Ripple's plan for XRP to change the way global finance works. He said the US must stand at the forefront of the financial revolution, leading the charge in the next generation of technology.
This statement emphasizes Ripple's big plans to make XRP the standard for international payments and new financial ideas. Authorities have warned that big banks like Bank America and JP Morgan Chase are at risk because of their exposure to derivatives. This has led to talks about XRP's possible role as a hedge. Locked concerns about systemic risks in traditional banking were raised by Barbie's tweet. This fits with a growing storyline that supports alternative assets like XRP. The Bank of France's support for XRP makes it even more useful in foreign finance. The virtual currency XRP could also be used as a bridge asset between any two currencies. This shows how useful XRP could be as a bridge currency in international trade. New partnerships like the one with MasterCard show how XRP is becoming more common in mainstream banking services. The goal of these partnerships is to use XRP's technology to speed up transactions, lower costs across payment networks, and show that the cryptocurrency can be used for more than just speculation. As Ripple continues to build strategic relationships and deal with regulatory issues, people who own XRP will benefit from the cryptocurrency's growing range of uses and long-term investment potential in the digital economy. And now the only question is, what do you think about that? Do you think XRP Ripple coin will go up in value? What do you think will happen? Please tell me in the comments. The end of this video means that you no longer need to watch it. Thanks for seeing it. Thank you for reading. If you liked it, please click the like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to follow.